Hello guys, welcome to this new tutorial of uh, Blender the Easy Grass Generator version 1.2 In here I'm gonna show you the main tools to which you can play around with the new Easy Grass Generator So basically when you in your uh, Easy Grass Generator scene do you have this collection and which you have the scatter base which is the base of your scatter that you are going to attach to your other mesh let's say you have a mesh here right and that's your grass you just need to select your mesh select the grass generator press ctrl g and then it's going to attach everything and the reason that it, your grass is not showing up here is because that's all based on the vertex color paint, right? So you just need to go here to your mesh, your vertex color, vertex color paint, and then you you basically put it in black, river rock, remove river rock, okay? Remove mood to rock, okay? Remove sage, remove tall grass, and that's it. Now you should have your grass going on as you expect, okay? On your entire mesh. I recommend you to put the strength, this, the maximum strength normally is one, but you put five because you can paint quickly, easily, and remove everything. I another thing that I would advise you is like, remove from the viewport, okay? If you remove from the viewport here or here, you will be able to paint quickly if your mesh is that, it's very big. Otherwise, the grass will start to show up everywhere and it's gonna slow down your viewport. Just remove it here on the viewport, right? But if you try to render, it will render. Okay? Okay, that's how you attach. That's the same process that used to be in the past. So let's remove this and explain the other things. Right? In here, you have your uh, two things. You have your UV control, which is this guy, right? We, what this guy does is basically it it controls the UV of your object okay let me try to show here in the sometimes this is so slow which is uh, the benchmark so it's the, the, the bench the oh my god workbench so this is the UV control, okay? So this basically control the texture, how big your texture is, you know? Look at that. You see? That's control your texture, okay? So the distance cooling is what controls the appearance and the appearance of your grass okay if you make the distance you see there is a distance from this guy in which the grass starts to not just disappear but disappear and scale down okay that's for the efficiency of your if you have a very very large scale scene what you can do is uh, you can attach this to your camera okay let's say your camera is here you press uh, ctrl p right and then you attach to your camera and now if your camera moves back 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 you see the grass starts automatically to disappear from certain distance okay if you want it to be if you want it the easy way at this point to control 
the distance from the grass to the camera right now is like controlling the distance cooling right or you put this more ahead right and then you have better control okay the grass appear farther or what you can do is scale up more and more and more and more and more and then your grass eventually eventually will show up in the, at the contact with uh, with the distance cooling okay see the grass showing up here okay but just keep in mind that this will make the range of a grass to be very far right and aggressive okay so that's up to you guys to control that for now let's go back to what we have before just for the sake of organization okay right let's say let's go to the new tools now okay the grass begins basically right but at from the version 1.2 i just added a new randomization for the grass which is amazing which will it will create like way better let's let's do this it's not necessary but i will subdivide it a bit more the grass just for the sake of uh, vertex color paint because we are going to use it not for now the randomization as soon as you turn it on and off you see the grass gets wider right and it's not just that you have a kind of random noisy going on and have intensity of your randomization right you can go higher and you see the grass goes more and more wild as soon as you go up here okay and the randomization scale which is the amount of uh, the scale of the wildness you see you can control here all right yeah so then another tool that you guys must see is uh, the object removal right whatever object this plane is inside this collection remove contact okay whatever object in this collection will be cutting out just not just the grass but whatever the sage the rocks anything okay just to demonstrate that let's paint some tall grass go to vertex paint tall grass okay maybe the sage let's put it one maybe the sage okay right right if you, for example you paint the sage on top of the tall grass and it's not showing the tall grass you just know to go to the tall grass and remove it here so the sage will appear okay just in case let's add some river rocks river rocks why not okay let's add some river rocks here and there okay so you can tell that if you grab your plane and you move around it will be cutting out anything okay so no object will be transpassing this so whatever object you put it here let's add a, for example a cube okay this cube is added inside remove contact so whatever is here it will never go beyond the cube okay it will never go beyond the cube if you put a Suzanne for example everything will be removed from around Suzanne okay 
that's how it works all right that's how it works the object removal the object contact object contact okay if you don't want to have that tool you just turn it off and then you see everything will go beyond any object okay see on and off okay randomization and it, it always follow it doesn't matter how tall is your randomization for example if you go here and then you put it crazy the grass will never go beyond that okay okay let's remove those river rocks Five, so we remove at once. Whoop. Remove sage and remove Togras. So, so. Okay. Another item that was added was water. Okay. Water. As soon as we press on, the water plane is created. Okay. But you don't see that now because it's been below the terrain okay for you to be able to see that you have to go to your terrain for example and maybe you scoop it and then you put it down and then you start to see the contact with the water or just going on okay The water is set it up already and you always can go here for example and paint on uh, surrounding the water let's say you want the grass to move okay so you go here to grass mood and then you start it to paint it here and create some um, nice mood transition you know that makes more sense around the grass pond okay and this grass shader has already some uh, volumetric okay let's say let's add uh, Suzanne we put the Suzanne here and we goes down we see that the water shade is fading pretty nicely so it it's kind of it's a bit more realistic right it's, it's fading with the with the with the depth okay that's how you have you have your water if you don't want to water you just remove it here the water will, will disappear okay and you just go to your vertex, vertex paint and remove the mood texture All right And that's it that's pretty much it that those are the new tools of uh, of a grass easy grass generator just I hope you guys enjoyed I will be improving this as far as I go farther in uh, acknowledging geometry nodes and I will basically next steps will be like improve the tools and also uh, adding different textures of grass which is very handy but you always can do that the way that i told you in the other tutorials okay i hope you guys enjoy see you soon